Now turn to section 2. Section 2. You'll hear a conversation. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 20. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 20. Welcome to our program on Indian youth. Are young Indians different from their elders? Smarter, lazier, less obedient? We have invited an Indian sociologist, Mr. Singh, to share his views with us. Mr. Singh, many Indians complain that the new generation of Indians is too westernized and has lost touch with its culture. What's your opinion on that? Whenever a country modernizes, there is speculation that the new generation will be dramatically different from those that preceded it, in particular, more westernized. Much of that speculation is based on superficial observations regarding rock music and the like. However, most studies show that new generations retain much, though not all, of the core values of their culture. Cultures change very slowly. What is changing quickly is the environment in which they live, their living standards, opportunities for advancement, and self-fulfillment. Young Indians certainly have more opportunities today. Where does your information come from? I have two children in their early twenties. I see their generation at close quarters. I often travel to both rural and urban places in India and I see the young people there. The current generation has, by and large, rejected politics as a primary concern. They have grown up with a TV and a telephone, either at home or in the vicinity. They have watched MTV, but they still go to the temple, and most of them seriously believe that God exists. Regarding the opportunities that Mr. Singh mentioned, for the first time, it is acceptable in India for a kid to say, that he or she wants to be an actor, a singer, a fashion designer, a writer, a cricket player as a profession, without parents losing sleep. It also means that they have many choices of role model. When I look at young people around me, I see more hope than helplessness. Mr Singh, what is the main advantage that young people in India have? The biggest advantage the youth of India have is mobility. It is very easy for them to move about the country and follow opportunities. An edge the Chinese youth, for example, do not currently have. Also, young Indians are quickly adapting to new technologies, and English is now being more widely accepted and spoken than ever before. India's youth have a very unique advantage, a combination of mobility, language, and knowledge of technology. Add to that a country that has an entrepreneurial spirit and a very clear intent to adapt to Western culture. Are there any problems as far as you can see? I think that the biggest overall problem is with infrastructure. But as far as things that directly affect the younger generation are concerned, I think that the main problem is that parents from the growing middle class are pushing their children ever harder at academic activities. They believe this is the only way to stand out and survive in a system which is cutthroat because of the exploding population and as education becomes more and more accessible to the masses. However, many parents are granting their children more choice, particularly in the area of choosing their own careers. The youth of today are definitely more aware of the choices available to them. Do you think that competition is a problem? Not at all. It leads to creativity. The younger generation is more creative. Competition ensures that creativity is likely to be the best way to get ahead. Though it is largely believed that the culture and value system torch-bearing youth are losing their way. I still believe that relates to a small percentage. The combination of the Indian value system and the Western approach is a winning one, and if the Indian youth can manage to achieve the right balance, Global organisations will want their skills. Mr Singh, you sound very confident.
I am. Every generation will experience change. This will be more dramatic, especially in the context of development. Simply put, young Indians are more aware about the world they live in. They are more materialistic. They are consumers in the true sense. They are exposed to satellite TV, the internet, freer access to social interaction and mobility. They are global citizens. Adoption of styles and fashion from anywhere, particularly America, is quick. But as several surveys have shown, this openness and confidence does come with some sense of humility and purpose. I feel confident that they can dream and achieve. My generation could only dream. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers.